It ran dry last year in Albuquerque for the first time in four decades. And now this year, dry days along the metro stretch of the Rio Grande are likely to return. News 13's Jessica Salinas has more on what's behind it. The latest forecast comes from the middle Rio Grande Conservancy District, where they say consistent hot temperatures and lack of rain are once again stressing the river to its limits. You're starting to see the effects of running out of water. Months into summer, the Rio Grande in Albuquerque has seen a major decrease in water. And now the middle Rio Grande Conservancy District expects the river to go dry as soon as next week. I think the, the, the original model project, pro, projections were that it was anticipated we'd get much further into the season before we ran out of that San, San Juan Chama water. Because of the record heat in July, the district ended up using stored water from the San Juan Chama project about a month earlier than expected. The state has also gotten less rain this year, meaning less water to recharge the river. You know, we need to be praying for rain late in the season because uh, we are truly a run of the river system right now. We have very little supplemental water and we only have um, what the system gives us and, and we, don't, we don't have dams full of water um, to help out the situation. Once the river dries up, the Conservancy District says water supplies will be affected for roughly 60,000 acres of agricultural land near Albuquerque. The outlook isn't much better either for next season. What is probably likely is we're going to face higher temperatures like we've seen um, and we just need to be ready for that and, and, and go into the season uh, with, with, with that in mind. As farmers look to plant in the fall season, the Conservancy District says they hope people keep in mind. As they consider decisions next year, um, the variability will likely probably be the same. And the Conservancy District is saying they're looking into how this will affect silvery minnow and are coordinating plans to rescue the fish if needed. Jessica Salinas, KRQE News 13. Another issue is the El Vado Dam, which remains under construction and unable to store excess water. That will continue until sometime in 2026. 